PPI data report, which is the producer price index report, gets released tomorrow, August 11th, one hour before the market opens, which is at 8.30 a.m. Eastern time. And here is everything you need to know about it. So let me go ahead and start sharing my screen. As we saw today, the NASDAQ market started off in the green based off of the CPI, which is the consumer price index report, coming in as expected, or if anything, really a little bit lower than what was already being factored in. It peaked, right? It hit high of 374 this is for qqq and then corrected itself pretty much for the remainder of the day one of the things that i want to point out is again uh, we are retesting this same support range when looking at this on the four hour time frame yes we're still getting rejected by that ema but if you look at this descending pattern right lower highs lower lows it's the lows it's the highs the lows the highs the lows the highs the lows the highs the lows doesn't mean that we have to recover, but it wouldn't really surprise me if NASDAQ tries to recover as it gets closer to the EMA and the moving average and then see if we get rejected once again. It looks like that's been a common pattern, but again, patterns tend to repeat themselves. They don't always have to. Now let's talk about what you need to do to prepare. So when it comes down to this PPI data report, again, this is all scheduled at 8.30 a.m. There's PPI and core PPI. Well, what's the market's expectation? Let's go ahead and look into that. So based off of investing.com, the on August 11th, 2023 at 8 30 a.m there's an expectation to see an increase of 0.2 percent of an increase based off of our current ppi data now where is it that this report is going to be released it's the same website from bls with which is the bureau of labor statistic but instead of cpi all you literally need to do is change it to ppi and then you can pop it right on up it's going to be released right on over here again it says august 11 2023 which is tomorrow at 8 30 a.m and then it shows you right here on the latest numbers and if you want to actually download the HTML. It will be made available right on over here. Remember, the producer price index report is inflation on the producing side of things. So one of the things that I love to remind our beginner traders is that if producers are experiencing any form of inflation, right, prices are going up for producers or going down for producers, it's normally a forecast for consumers because if producers are experiencing inflation, then they get hit first with those higher numbers. And then normally consumers get hit later as that inflation gets passed down to the consumers. But ultimately, producer price index reports are never as popular as the CPI, which is the consumer price index report and that's just because everyone actually only cares about what could consumers as there's more consumers than producers but i just thought that i'd take some time and make sure that you were all aware of where these reports are going to be released and what time they're going to be released so if you see that the market is either very bullish or very bearish right before the market opens then again you'll at least understand why, and that's because the PPI data report is going to be released. Again, I will be trading live with the LPP team tomorrow at Market Open. You don't have to join, but I only work with them on a closer basis. If you want the ability to watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow, let's keep it simple. It's the second link in the description down below. We're running our biggest sell. It's $175 off. It's a one-time payment, lifetime access. And yes, you'll get to watch me trade live every single day starting tomorrow if you sign up today. I appreciate your time. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.